Hey you guys, this is Michelle Goldstein with Heart Alchemy Yoga. And this video today is a yoga for before bedtime to help you wind down and get quiet and sleep. So this was actually a special request from a friend of mine in Berlin. So this one's going out to you, Seven, all right? So anyway, this is we're filming at the Springs in downtown Los Angeles. Um, for this particular video, you don't even really need a yoga mat, but you definitely want to have a little bit of wall space, okay? So to start out, we're going to start out with a seated forward bend. You're going to separate your legs wide, Upavishta Konasana, just a wide straddle forward bend. If your hamstrings are pretty tight, you might want to elevate your hips and sit on a blanket or a block or a pillow or something. So separate your legs wide and maybe start to walk the hands a little bit forwards. And drop your head down. So if you start to get your head a little bit lower like this, you can start to bend forwards more. You, can, you could also rest your head on a block. And just find your spot in the pose, even if you're really pretty much sitting upright. Just find the stretch for the backs of your legs. Give your feet a little bit of a flex. Just begin to notice that you're breathing. And rather than dropping into deep ujjayi breathing, like we normally do in a flow practice, just see if you can soften your breath Allow your breath to be conscious and deliberate, but also not too forced. So just note if you're forcing the breath and just soften around the edges a little bit. And then when you're in the pose for a few moments, maybe you start to release a little more. So you might find that you can relax even more and deepen into it. And so also just consider your sitting bones for a moment and root them down towards the ground. And just bringing the mind to the moment here is really a powerful means for relaxing before bedtime. So especially if you have trouble falling asleep, oftentimes that's just the mind is so active. So just, you know, even after, after a big exciting day or whatever's happened, just to allow it to live in the past and bring yourself to the present. And feel your shoulders soften. Feel your neck relax, even if you're sitting upright. And just take another couple of deep breaths here. And just very gently walk yourself up. Okay, and then from here, you just and gently bend your knees and turn towards the wall. So the rest of this practice, we're just going to do two little back bends and then we're going to do the rest of the practice against the wall. So <clears throat> come onto your back and bend your knees with your feet on the floor. And just make sure you can just graze your heels with your fingertips so that your feet aren't too far apart. Parallel your feet, so turn your toes in just slightly. And start to roll the spine up off the floor. Lift the hips up. Walk the shoulder blades together under your back. And if it feels good, you can interlace your fingers. 
underneath your body and start to lift the hips up and lift the upper back up. And feel the chin lift away from your chest a little. And feel the heart reach up. And just go ahead and take one more breath here. Okay, and then just unroll the shoulders and then lower your spine down one vertebra at a time. And when your low back hits the floor, just lay here for a moment. We're just releasing any tension in the upper back before we move back into the hips. So one more bridge. Start to roll the hips up, lift the spine up. Walk the shoulder blades together under your back. Get a little space between your chin and your chest. It's like your, it's like your heart is trying to kiss your chin and your chin doesn't want to have anything to do with it. Like get that going in the upper back. Press the elbows down to activate the shoulder opening. One more breath. Okay, and then just unroll the shoulders and come down onto your back. Okay, and then hug your knees into your chest. And let's go ahead and just drop the knees over to the left. You can take, you know, a single leg twist or an eagle leg twist, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna teach the knees together. Twist to the left, right shoulder on the floor to the right. Feel your upper back soften. Allow your eyes to close. Just feel your belly rise and fall softly with your breath. Just go ahead and come back to center. And we'll switch sides. So you'll hug the knees in to start and then drop the knees over to the right. Left shoulder to the floor behind you. And just feel the parts of your body that are touching the floor right now and allow them to sink down. And again, while the breath is not forced, allow it to be smooth. And to follow your breath. That's a really great practice. Just allow your mind to follow your breath. And just gently roll yourself back to center. Okay, and then from here, we're just gonna go ahead and scoot towards the wall. So, Depending on how open your hips are, that will determine how close you're going to get your bottom to the wall. Because the first pose we'll do is thread the eye of the needle. So bring your hips maybe, I don't know, a foot or two away to start. And bend your knees, put your feet on the wall. You're going to take your right ankle and cross it over your left thigh. So we're taking thread the eye of the needle against the wall. Make sure that your lower back is on the floor. So for me, I'm not getting much of a stretch here. My hips are pretty open. So I'm going to scoot myself closer to the wall. So there's not really that many graceful ways to do that. Just kind of like inch your way there, you know, until you start to get a really nice stretch in your right hip. 
If you're getting a good stretch with your hips away from the wall, then you can just stay there. But you want to get just the right amount of stretch. That you, and, and you'll know that you're in that place because you'll be able to relax, but still feel enough sensation that you're getting some work. You know, you're definitely getting a stretch. And then begin to guide your breath to the places that you feel the tension and the most sensation. And begin to release that tension with your exhales. And feel your upper back sink down into the ground and take your shoulders away from your ears. And feel your middle back also sink down towards the ground. So this particular practice is not only great for yoga before bedtime, but it's also a really good back release practice. Just side note, so this is just a really good practice for any day that your back might be bothering you, or just any day, let's face it. We're sitting, we're walking, we're doing all these things that put strain and pressure, we're, we're working under the force of gravity all day long. So this will help to unravel all of that. And release your body before you sleep. Just keep a slight flex in the right foot so that you're protecting your knee joint. If it gets too slack in the foot, then the the tendons in the knee can start to take too much work on, and we don't want that. So just to engage a little bit of muscle to release the tendons and the connective tissue. Okay, and so we're just gonna release right here. You're just gonna Undo the right leg and put the right foot up against the floor, or against the wall, rather. The knees are bent. And we'll switch sides. So <clears throat> left ankle over the right thigh. For me, because my right hip is more open than my left, I have to scoot a little further away. Otherwise, it's too intense. So just make sure that you adjust the dials of the pose the right and left side are not the same. We use the sides of our body very differently. And so inevitably they, they feel different, they are different. So just be respectful of what you're working with. And start to guide your breath to the places that you feel the stretch. And release tension, any tension with your exhales. So you can breathe into the places that you feel it most. And then exhale, just let go of anything you don't need. Just feel your shoulders sink down into the ground. Feel your rib cage sink down into the ground. Your belly soften. Feel your sacrum and your hips relax and release.
Relax your face. Like notice if you're holding any tension in your brow or in your jaw and just see if you can release it or at least some of it. We need some tension to help us move around in life. We use the tension in our face to, to help us eat, to help us smile and laugh, but we pretty much all carry a lot of unnecessary tension. I definitely do, and tension in the jaw is, is suppressed anger, from what I understand. So it's just to release that. Anything you don't need, right? Just let it go. And so we're gently gonna release that left leg. Take the left foot to the wall. And now we're gonna scoot all the way up against the wall. So get your butt all the way up against the wall. And then we're gonna straighten the legs out to the sides. So we did this stretch from sitting upright. Now we're gonna do it against the wall. Have your hands available just to provide any support that you might need. So if you want more stretch, you could take the hands to the inner legs and give it a little weight. If you want less stretch, you can take the hands to the either the floor or the, the outer legs to provide support. If you have two blocks, you could also take them under your legs right here for support. And just allow your body to rest. And start to notice as you breathe here. There's a line of energy that runs, it's called the microcosmic orbit. And it runs from the roof of your mouth. So if you touch your tongue to the upper palate behind your two front teeth, like right at that spot, it runs from there down the front of your neck and down the front of your body to the base of your spine. And then it moves up your back to the crown of your head. And then back down the front of your face to that place where your tongue touches the upper palate and then runs down the front of the body to the base of the spine. And then up your back to the crown of your head. And then down the front of your face, down the front of your body, to the base of your spine. And then up your back to the crown of your head. And just circulate that microcosmic orbit, that line of energy, that flow of energy a few times on your own. And so you can hit pause and stay here for a few minutes. Otherwise, we're just going to move to the next stage of this practice where you'll simply bend your knees. Go slow. Bring the soles of your feet together against the wall. So it's a pretty chilled out variation of Baddha Konasana. 
You can keep your hands on the floor, your hands on your belly, or your hands on your legs. Sometimes it feels nice to take the arms above your head as well. Just find a place that feels nice. And then bring your awareness to the base of your spine, to the root chakra. And there's a ball of energy there. It's a red wheel, actually. The word chakra means wheel. It's the Sanskrit word for wheel. So just envision that red wheel of energy of light and feel it spinning. And you can use your imagination. You don't, it doesn't have to be real, whatever that means, like to let go of what's real and not real. You can use your imagination or it can be very vivid and very real. Either, either way, just feel that red wheel, imagine it there, see it there. And then moving up just two inches below your navel. Maybe just slightly lower. Like between your navel and your root is the sacral chakra. And right there, there's an orange ball of light, wheel of energy. Feel that orange wheel spin. And bring your awareness up to your solar plexus, like just above the navel point. There's a yellow wheel, <coughs> a yellow ball of light. So it's a wheel, but it's also three-dimensional, at least, <laughs> maybe four or five dimensions. But just there's dimension to it, so just feel that wheel spinning, yellow light. Move your awareness up to the heart chakra. And in the heart is a green ball of light, of energy. Just feel that green wheel spin, move in your heart. And moving your awareness up to your throat chakra. And there you'll find a blue ball of energy. Just feel that blue wheel spin. It's moving, it's dynamic. and definitely moving in circular motion. And then bring your awareness up to your third eye point, about one inch deeper than the front of your forehead. So just back about one inch. There's a purple wheel of light. Just feel that wheel spin. 
and move. So just very gently, you're going to straighten your legs up the wall. Straighten your legs up the wall. If this is not possible, if it hurts your back or your hamstrings to do this, you can bend your knees a little bit. Or you can come back to the previous position. But with the awareness of all of these wheels of light moving through you, moving in their centers, the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, and the third eye. Just start to feel the crown of your head open like an aperture. Just feel the crown of your head open and allow white light to wash through you. And feel all of those wheels, all of these wheels of light. Start to envision them in their colors. St start to envision them as knots and start to unravel the knots, untie the knots. And so all of these wheels, all of these balls of energy, as you unravel the knots, begin to release white light as well. So there's white light that radiates from you and white light that pours in through you. Feel the muscles in your body relax completely. as the energy flows. It can flow more freely when we are calm and relaxed. Perhaps you lift the corners of your mouth just a little bit. Just think of something in your life that you're grateful for. And allow your body to radiate and receive love and light and gratitude. And so you can stay here for as long as you like. This particular pose, it's called Viparita Karani legs up the wall. If you did this every day for 10 to 20 minutes, it's one of the healthiest things you can do for your body. So you can rest here for a while if you like. And when you're ready to crawl into bed, I hope that you all have very sweet dreams tonight. This is Michelle Goldstein with Heart Alchemy Yoga. Thank you so much for practicing with us tonight. Please like and share the videos. 
please subscribe to the channel and please take care of your sweet selves. Namaste.